Listen fam, it's your favorite gypsy Naya here and now I am at Ocean City Beach. Um, I'm, I'm like right on the boardwalk at Ocean City in Maryland. Some of these waves kind of took me under so I'm a little raspy in my throat. I had to fight a little bit. Like I had to like, like when the big waves is coming and like you short, you gotta do the like the long jump off of like Nintendo 64 on Mario, like you gotta do the long jump and then like try to jump over the wave, but you know, you gotta hope you make it. So anyway, um, but yes, okay. This video is about these dreams I've been having. Every time I decide to do some gypsy stuff and go to sleep on the beach, I have these like really, really vivid dreams. Going to sleep near the water definitely enhances what I can see at night. Um, so back in back in May, I was at a beach in Jacksonville. Like I, I was I was on the Huguenot Islands in Jacksonville, and I was sleeping there. And I I had a dream that. Somebody, I had, I had a gay brother who married a white man. My brother was black like me, because for obvious, you know, we're, we're, we were siblings, but I didn't feel like it was for me because my brothers are married to women um, and, you know, raising families and stuff. So I don't, I just don't feel like the dream is necessarily for me. But someone might have a gay brother who is getting married and um, the white man that he was marrying was really, really nice, really, really good guy. Um, and they, they, they needed you to be a part of the wedding. But you and your brother's relationship is really, really, really close. So they wanted you to be in every part of the wedding. They needed you to curl the flower girl's hair and uh, deal with the rest of the bridal party. And then you had a sister who was also getting married and they did weddings at the same venue on the same day because your sister thought it was that important that you be in her wedding too. So your brother and your sister, it was like your stepsister or something like that. But you, you and your brother was like really, really close. so. They both got married, they needed you to be a part of it, and you were like, you were like the backbone of everything, honestly. Like, you did decorations, you did hair, and like, your brother had you standing with him at the altar as like the best man. Now, of course, like, you're a female, but you were like the best man of your brother's wedding. And um, that was one dream back in May. Then last night, I fell asleep here on the beach. I got into Ocean City like around one o'clock in the morning. And I, uh, you know, I stopped, came over to the beach and I went to sleep. And sleeping over here, I had a dream. It, it was almost like part two. Um, your brother, your brother and his new husband. So you basically have a white brother and a black brother because they got married, right? They asked you to have a baby for them. And the situation went really, really well. Like, it went lovely. Um, they didn't want it to be more of a burden on you, so they really supported you. If you already have children, they were really, really supportive of you and your children. They, you didn't charge them like a surrogacy fee. Cause surrogacy costs like, $80,000 like but you didn't charge them anything you said yes out of the kindness of your heart and it's like y'all all I remember seeing a lot of different situations one of the like one of the first ones is that like y'all all took the pregnancy test together so they, they didn't go into the bathroom with you but when the test came back positive like y'all signed some kind of contract where like you would get partial custody because they were using your DNA and like it was it was they was using your egg and your body like it wasn't like in vitro um they was using your egg and your body so you got like 50% c 
custody, but they got, or like you got like some kind of 50% guardianship or something. Like you had rights, but they got like 100% of the custody and everything and like all of the medical bills and um, just even physical custody. Like when the baby was born, the baby was supposed to go with, with them, right? But they wanted you to be the mothering role in the baby's entire life. So they needed you to be like an auntie and a mom. Um, and I even remember like parts of the dream, like 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 you had the babies and everything. Like it was like a long multi-part dream. Like the baby called you aunt mom and stuff like that. But like your brother and his husband, they are really, really masculine. Like they're not like, like tranny or anything like that. They're really masculine. They like was like playing the father roles in your kid's life. But they was around you so much. Like they took care of everything. Your brother, your brother like really, really leaned on you a lot, like emotionally and just, just y'all had a really close relationship. So when you were pregnant, you was completely healthy. Nothing went wrong. You weren't sick or anything. Your brother would make sure like you had all the food and snacks that you wanted as long as they were healthy. Like your brother and his husband wouldn't let you pump your own gas in your car. Like if you needed gas in your car, like you were supposed to, um, you were supposed to tell them. And they, they would come to your house and take your car to the gas station and bring your car back. Like if you were like big, like in, in one part of the dream, you were like, six or seven months pregnant and your brother got off work and came to your house to get your car to put gas in it he took out the trash like you weren't allowed to pick up trash bags he took out the trash and then he got in your car he asked you for your keys you gave him your keys you were like sleeping on a couch or something like that like sleeping in a bed or something like they provided you with a new place to live and everything. Like you didn't have to worry about anything while you were pregnant. Like everything went so well. Like he took your car to go get gas and he took your kids with him like while you, because like they were still up and like you didn't make dinner yet. Like if you didn't if you didn't cook dinner yet, it was okay. Just call your brother because he's going to buy you he's going to buy the house something like just a pizza something so you don't have to like stand up and cook. Like, and then like in one part, the white, the white brother, you know, y'all two were really, really close too. Like he, the white brother carried more feminine energy. So y'all got along based off of that. And um, like the white brother, like wanted you to be able to date and you know, have a significant other. But like your black brother was not having it while you were pregnant. It was hilarious. Like in the dream, there was a part where the the white brother was like, I guess, cre like in, the white brother created some kind of social account, social media dating site and had you on there. And the black brother walked up like, what are y'all doing? And they kind of like went back and forth about you dating while you were carrying that baby. Your black brother doesn't want you to be alone or feel lonely so your black brother provides you with a lot of companionship however your black brother feels like you knew what you signed up for and the only reason they asked you to be the mother of their children is because like you weren't dealing with anybody at the time so when you get pregnant there like there wouldn't be any kind of blood test or paternity test like you could get pregnant and know that the, the baby belongs to the white husband because of course, you know, the, your black brother, like, like, like the, back, the black brother, y'all were siblings. So for obvious reasons, you two didn't conceive, um, you know, for obvious reasons, but you were basically carrying the white brother's babies, right? So there didn't need to be any paternity test because like you weren't dealing with anybody and they knew like, like, you, like the black brother kept saying like, no, like she's virtuous. Like, who are we gonna find to date her? Like, no, he's gonna get on her nerves and then the baby's not gonna come out right because he was getting on her nerves. And 
Like, then he's gonna have a problem with me coming around every day and being in the house every day. Like, you, your black brother felt like he couldn't protect you while you were pregnant if you were dating. Like, and then he also felt like, he also felt like whoever you would date would become uncomfortable with the arrangement. Like, he wouldn't understand what's going on and he would become uncomfortable and kind of like drive a rift between you guys. Um, it was it was just hilarious because the, the, the white brother was like, why are you acting like this? Like she can date, like, okay, so we have each other and she has to carry through this pregnancy alone and, and you know, be alone. And the black brother was like holding your stomach like she knew what she signed up for when she did this. Like, okay, whatever, you know if this is you, if your brother is the kind of person to really, really hold you accountable for what you agree to. Like, he is a contract type of person. This is what you signed up for. You knew what it was when you came into this. I don't, don't try to ch change it up now. I don't want to hear it. Um, but he was compassionate of you, but he wasn't trying to hear it. If it could possibly threaten you or the baby outside of his ability to protect, he wasn't trying to hear it. It was like even to the point where like you you weren't allowed to drink soda while you were pregnant with your brother's baby. Like I remember one part of the dream, like I was sitting on the couch drinking a, a Dr. Pepper and your brother randomly walked in the house like 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 the like the black brother randomly walked in the house and like snatched the soda out of my face, out of my hand. I, I like, I cussed him out. I was like, like the fuck, like what are you doing? Mind your business. And then he handed you a bottle of water and like cut you up some sliced oranges because that's why you were craving. He was saying that's why you're craving the soda. But instead of you drinking the unhealthy soda, he would rather you drink the water and eat the oranges he was cutting up for you. Like he was buying you food and everything. He was extremely supportive and like, even when labor and delivery time came, like he couldn't like stand for you to be in pain. So he left. The person who went through labor and delivery with you was the white brother. Um, because the white brother carried a lot more feminine energy. Y'all got along, y'all really, really like had a close relationship as siblings. I even, I saw the baby shower. The baby shower was even nice. Like the people that came to your baby shower brought three gifts, one for you, I'm, I'm sorry, four. They brought a gift for the baby, a gift for both of the fathers, and a gift for you. And I remember I remember the white brother saying, um, like, the white brother wanted you to date because the white brother wanted the child to witness like heterosexual relationships and homosexual relationships, be healthy. So they had a healthy relationship and they had a healthy household, but you were single. So they wanted, like the white brother wanted you to date so that the baby can know that both exist. However, the black brother felt like it'll happen when it happens. Let it happen naturally. Don't be trying to hook her up. Don't try to force things along. Um, you know, there's nothing wrong with the setup that we have. Our kid is gonna come out healthy no matter what. So there was like a, a difference in opinions. In the dream though, you didn't care. Like you you weren't, you weren't, it wasn't a big deal to you as long as they allowed you to breast feed the baby. Like as long as they allowed you to nurse the baby and as long as they allowed you to be a part of the baby's life, you really weren't worried about it. Um, and it, I, I even remember one part, like they went out on a date they went out on a date to like Red Lobster or something and they made sure they brought you black back an entree like in a little box like they wouldn't they were you weren't like a part of their relationship they had their own relationship but you was so close to them and so close to their lives it was beautiful honestly like they didn't want you to feel more burden they didn't they knew that you were doing they knew that you were having their their children out of you had two kids for them they knew you were doing it out of the kindness of your heart. And they didn't want the kindness of your heart to become a further burden in your life. And they were really, really careful about that. 
Like you didn't have to worry about anything as, as their baby mom, you didn't have to worry about anything at all. Like y'all was like one big happy family, but you did live in different houses. So that was a thing. I remember one part, um, when you had the baby, they slept at your house. Like they came, like like while you were, were recovering, they took care of you in recovery and stayed with the baby. Like they moved into your house and helped you with the kids and stuff after recovery. Like you already have your own kids. So I don't know who this is for, but like the baby shower was even beautiful. Like it was like a triangle themed baby shower because y'all were celebrating the fact that your babies had three parents. So they, they had you be the mother of their child to help them raise their child. But the child, the, like their children had two fathers instead of just one. And they felt like your feminine energy prevented them from having to nurture their children in like an overabundance of feminine energy. Like your feminine energy was really, really important to them. Like your nurturing. Um, what else? Let me see. What else? What else did I see? What else did I see? Um, there was like hair pyramids, like the decoration that the baby shower was like little golden pyramids, like a triangle themed baby shower. It was just really, really cool. Um, and it was a lot of fun. Like y'all had a lot of fun. Oh, um, okay. You and your brother make money together, whoever this is for. Like he uses you. He uses you to manifest more money. Like, I don't know, like at one part, like y'all was, it was you and both of the brothers, the white and black brother, like you and both of the brothers was in the kitchen. And your, the black brother came in and said, like, like you did it again, sis. Like you done did it again. Like, like we won, we won something. So maybe he gambled and, and I don't know, you help him gamble or something. See, I have a lot of fellow high priests and tarot readers in my, you know, as a part of the innocent fam. So you might call, you might call, um, you might call out angel numbers and stuff like I do. I don't know, but whatever you do, you help your brother get money and y'all work together. And like when y'all won, I specifically remember y'all doing some kind of like money dance together. Like something like where y'all bumped y'all, y'all arms or something like that. And like y'all did some kind of little money dance in the kitchen at the same time, same dance type thing. And the white brother, he didn't do the dance, but he thought it was so cute. Like he thought the dance was cute. The black brother specifically said, like, like high five, sis, like you did it again. Like, oh, like now we're about to buy you some new weed, baby. Like it was that kind of thing. Like your brother got jokes for days. If this is for you, your brother be talking about your hair and your weave and shit like that. Your brother is like a funny person. Um, but yeah, like y'all were like, y'all were making some kind of money together and you had a job, like, like, like you made your own money, but even though you made your own money, your brothers were really, really careful to make sure like that you didn't feel any burden, whether it was financial, emotional, in your health, uh, health insurance, your brothers were really careful to make sure that what you were doing for them and for their marriage didn't burden you at all. Um. So whoever this is for, I don't know, maybe you're worried about that. Maybe your brother asked you to have babies for them and you're not sure if you should, you don't know how it's gonna go. The babies came out healthy. You you gave them, you gave them a girl and a boy. And both of the babies looked just like you, but had like blue eyes. Like the babies were beautiful um, and they were healthy. So I don't know, maybe you're worried about that. Maybe you're worried that things, I don't I don't know. I don't know what the concern could be. I don't know who this is for. I don't think it's for me, but I saw it so vividly. Like I could feel everything going on in the dreams. And I saw it so vividly in both dreams that I knew it had to be for somebody. All right, so, um, you know, whatever this is, just know that like nothing's gonna change or come between you and your brother's relationship if that's what you're worried about that that's what i'm hearing and like like you and your your brother-in-law his husband y'all are really really close too like that's a person you can lean on and they're trustworthy like they're a good person all right um all right that's it i'm gonna go back and get in the water 
The next beach I'm headed to is Atlantic City in New Jersey. I'm gonna leave Maryland, head to Jersey, and then I'm gonna go from Jersey straight to Connecticut, all right? All right, love you, innocent fam. Oh, wait, hold on, before I stop it. Happy Juneteenth. That's what today is, it's Juneteenth. It's packed, it's packed out here on this beach too, y'all. Um, but it's beautiful, like the weather is not too hot, not too cold. Not like in Florida. Um, it, it feels wonderful. It feels wonderful here, y'all. Make sure y'all getting out and enjoying this summer. I love y'all.